Life as a peanut was rather unfulfilling, Marvin the peanut realized a few moments after becoming self-aware. It was rather dark. Marvin couldn't tell if that was because he was buried under several inches of dirt or because he didn't have eyes. Either way, the scenery was very dull. Marvin wondered what a peanut was anyway. He had only been sentient for a quarter of an hour. He decided that peanuts were most likely a warrior race based on his armored exoskeleton. Perhaps he came from a long line of heroic legumes that served king and country with duty and valor. Or perhaps his family were of noble blood and sent combatants to their death. Marvin quite preferred the latter, so he went with that assumption. He called out to his kin. Unfortunately, Marvin also lacked a mouth, so his vocalizations went unheard. Marvin couldn't see, he couldn't talk, and he still didn't know what a peanut was. He cursed his existence. After a few minutes of internalized complaints and whining, Marvin slowly grew accustomed to life as a peanut. It wasn't too bad after all. He didn't have to file expense reports or spend money on getting his car repaired. Marvin wondered how he knew these things, but he settled on them being crucial things that a peanut should know. Life for Marvin was looking up. Marvin felt vibrations. Something exciting and new was happening. The ground around Marvin fell away from his shell, and he felt as though he was flying. This was surely a great feat for a peanut to accomplish. Perhaps he was destined for great things. Marvin was loaded with a few thousand other peanuts in the back of a green tractor. Moments later, he realized his true purpose as a sentient peanut. He tried to communicate with the rest of the world as he tumbled into a machine that shelled him and ground him into peanut butter. Good morning Interweb, that was the short story Peanut by Eric Lang. A massive thank you must go out to Eric for first of all writing the story and second of all allowing me to animate it. Also, huge thanks go out to Kelly Hayes for supplying the wonderful narration. Links in the doobly-doo to their online content. Eric has a blog, 30secfantasy.com, where he writes a new, original, short, sci-fi or fantasy story every day every day and even despite that turnaround the quality is always amazing i love reading his work you'll love reading his work go check him out 30secfantasy.com links in the doobly-doo also i'm going to turn these short story videos into more of a regular thing to break up the artifact scene content so if you're a writer of fantasy or sci-fi and you want to have your short story featured in artifact scene email me. You can go to the about section on my YouTube channel to find my email. And I think that's just about everything. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Click the links on screen for more artifact scene content. Like, and if you think I earned it, hit the subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching. Edgar out.